Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Wait a minute. It's you! I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. Guess that explains how you got that door open. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Amada's message. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd keep that under your hat for her sake. She could get in real trouble if people found out she sent you a message. So could I, just for talking with you now. Maybe. She isn't the only one, that's for sure. Ever since last night, it's been madness down here. Nothing but trouble. Everything went crazy is what happened. Your dad opened that door, bugs started attacking, and people started going crazy. When the smoke cleared, there were a lot of casualties and not many answers. Didn't help that our doctor had just left, either. I'm... I'm sorry to hear that. Regardless of how things turned out down here, he was a good friend. I always figured he'd do well outside. Matter of fact, a lot of folks started thinking he had the right idea. He usually did. So, if it was safe out there, why stay down here forever? Well, the overseer didn't like that one bit and started cracking down on that sort of thought. Guess he didn't plan on you coming back. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the overseer, but frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? Okay, follow me.